they have some sort of advanced technology like the government would have access to in creating these elixirs and potions and such with uh, things not found in nature. <laughs> but if it's just some homies with some knives looking to cut off peepees, I don't know if we, I don't know if, uh, mm. I don't know, I don't know if I'm on that, on that ship. I, I, can't, I, don't, I don't know if I can go sign on that. That seems a little too far fetched. had a great time yesterday got to hang um uh speaking of the that jack box game um i could see totally where you'd be playing that game and though we're like around friends and we got kids playing and stuff like your mind like in some of those answers you, you have to like control it because sometimes want to be like you know saying some off the wall stuff well, like I said, with the newer ones, so I have Jackbox 3 and 5, I think. I know in 3 that they had the toggle box for uh, family-friendly. But again, you can only control what comes out of the screen, not what's put in. Uh, so, But it was, I'll tell you, if you didn't have kids there... Because it would have been crazy. It, it would have been <laughs> crazy, and it would have been absolutely <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> because, I, I mean, at one point, the guys in the back were showing me, like, he's like, are you kidding? Like... I can go so many ways with this, but I can't right now. Like things like ranch dressing were winning and uh, it was fun. I, I enjoyed it last night. Yeah, I for cool. sure, for sure thought I won that last game. I was in the lead. <laughs> lost my 50 I was points. in the lead. I was in the lead the entire time. Warren got you. Bro. And Warren got me because he got two <laughs> answers on the last one and beat me by what? Like 50, 60. 50 I don't know. Uh, I was low. Yeah. I was like, I was thinking I was going to walk out of there like on my high horse. Like, and, sp- Pure victory. It's been you great. Even jumped up and celebrated. Oh, like it's, I totally it's like a touchdown, and then it gets and then it gets called back. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I was like Deshaun Jackson dropping the ball as I'm running into the touchdown. <laughs> like I was so I was ready to do my dance and just get it on. And here's Warren just kicked back in his <laughs> recliner, just <laughs> taking the victory away from me. It was it was terrible. Win. A sleeper win. Uh, Cody, you ever played that game, Jackbox? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, uh, yeah I've played a couple of them. Yeah, so like he called me <laughs> well, the other day and he's like, play it the next time you guys are over here, he's <laughs> like, hey, um, what's a game that we can all play together? I'm like, well, it can't be Magic because they they mentioned Magic like three times last night. I was like, guys, that's like a yeah, that many players. You're talking three to four hours. We can and, and they them. don't know how to play, so we have to we're, we first have to teach right. them. It's, it's it's that's just too much. But I that's what popped in my mind was Jackbox because with a big group of people, even with audience members, you can have them interact. It was great. Um, it was great. I, I love that the kids got involved. Um, yeah, and yeah. had a blast. They honestly was, all day today they've been begging me to play it. So I came home and set up on the laptop, threw it on the TV, and they're out there playing Quiplash right now. So yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. Good times. So we'll have to do it with, uh, I, I'm scared real quick to play it with Cody because who knows what comes out of his mind at times, but uh, it should be interesting. Oh, I'm super good at that game. <laughs> um, and I'll Speaking be honest with you, way, I haven't played a lot of the other crazy ones. There's a lot of crazy games in that that you could play. I want to do the murder mystery one. That looked cool. Yeah, it's on three. three well, I'm, I'm sure it's on other versions, but on three, they have the murder mystery one where I think one of you is the... It's like, it's like Clue. Kind of, but anyways, I digress. So, so Cody threw this this topic at us like kind of late. I did look it up. It is fairly recent on what's happening, I guess. Um, and he's right. Tucker Carlson is ranting and raving about this right now. Um, but so this is happening right now. Well, I found three different news reports dating back one to the first one I found started in April of this year. Um, another one was just not even a month ago, um, which, well, I'm sure we'll get into, but Fox news reported it also a month ago. Um, so this is, this is definitely some, and it's different areas too, which is, I think we're going to talk about, but some crazy stuff going on, but Cody, it's your topic. Drop it on us, bro. Yeah, no. So, um, Oh, man, where to begin? These these cows. Okay, so it's about cows, right? I'm sure Aaron said that. So it's about these cows, right? And these like people are are finding these uh, these cows um, 
uh, they, they might be away from the the herd or whatever. They're finding them in their in their jurisdiction, and they're uh, when they find them, they're. I mean, they're. Di- it's different for it. it it's different for everyone. It kind of you know specific to that cow, but uh, the same kind of weird thing going on. So I'll give you an, I'll give you an example. So uh, one of the cows had all its insides taken out of it. Like it was completely like gutted, hollow gutted. It was gone. <laughs> it was just like a, like a skin. It was just skin and uh, bones, right? There was no insides. There's no sign of decay. So it's not like this happened like slowly over time. There's no sign of decay. It's just like a husk of a, of a being. Um, there's no like surgical wound. It's not like it, like it was, it was cut open and gutted and sewn back up. No, no, no. There's no point of exit or entry. I mean, no, like <laughs> this either wait, came wait, out wait, of it. Wait, wait, wait. It's either it was hollow, it like, was hollow, completely gone, completely gutted. It so, says the body was drained of blood and the body parts were surgically removed. Yeah. What? And, there, so, and, and, and so that, What's crazy is I'm looking at this while we're talking. It's not just one place. Like this first set was found in an Oregon. There's five purebred bulls valued at about six thousand dollars a piece. They ended up dead. The body's drained of blood, and the body parts have all been completely removed in a way that almost looks surgical. And then there was another set of bodies found in, in Colorado, and another set found somewhere else. Dude, dude, what? <laughs> and this is not the first time. I mean, there's been. Uh, there's like one area like San Luis, San Luis that over a decade have, have had a lot of mutilations. But as Cody was putting it, um, my understanding is, is these are like seriously precise precisions or are like the, the parts being mo- removed or, or, you know, somebody with with advanced knowledge is doing this. Yep. Maybe. Yep. Yep. That's it's correct. San, Lu- San Luis cases is more as up as as high as 10,000 mutilations. Lovely. That's insane. Yep. So, so yeah. tell us, uh, did you catch the, any of the Tucker, Tucker Carlson stuff? Um, Cause I know he went into it deep and even, I guess, released some, some footage that was yes. pretty. I mean, most of the stuff, I mean, uh, is not available to the public. So, um, people who are listening, uh, I mean, you probably didn't, uh, subscribe to Tucker Carlson's like exclusive thing on Fox. You have, I think you have to pay a subscription. Um, I of course have that subscription and I will watch it for you. So no need to worry there. Basically, <laughs> uh, what he said Thanks. was that, um, this is the government. Uh, it's, it's all has to do with the Biden administration and, um, it, they're behind it. <laughs> and, um, they're, 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 testing some sort of military grade uh, weaponry that uh, hasn't been completely disclosed um, to that the just general public. Cows? It, well, what it does is it, it could be a serum they're, they're, Tucker Carlson was theorizing. It could be some sort of serum, uh, some kind of new poison or chemical that kind of evaporates like all like, like, you know, organs and leaves everything else intact and stuff like that. Um, you yeah. know, it dries up all the blood. Um, so it's like, um, evaporates in the air kind of thing. Um, and then he also briefly talked about the possibility of it being aliens. So, I mean, there's always that because, and you can't, you can't ever cut out aliens because it means it's it's still probable it's very probable exactly we have to to go with that i mean exactly i mean at least as a probability right 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 so those are like the two biggest working theories i'm open to hear if you guys have any um anything else to add but that's really the main point that's where my mind went yeah i know that (laughs) right immediately like because aliens love cows right in every single movie you see they're all about cows. They're all about getting that bovine intellect and just, you know, taking all they can from from uh, from cows because maybe they believe that those are the most intelligent beings on the planet. You know, I just watched Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy for the first time last night. Uh, first very, time ever. First time ever. Nice. And, uh, wow, nice. Yeah, That's a great it was, movie. It was. It was a good movie. It was good. So, and then it, it, as you guys know, the most intelligent form of life on Earth is the dolphins. The dolphins. Yeah. yeah so, um, hysterical. But also, <laughs> but also, how does that make you feel? I just want to know before you continue, like to know that a dolphin's smarter than you. It definitely got me thinking. I was like, you know, maybe they are. <laughs> you and, go to Sea World and that thing's looking at you. I'll be like, hey, like, listen, I, I got you, bro. <laughs> now I got a conversation starter every time I see a dolphin or go to Sea World. <laughs> um, no, but uh, yeah. So I mean, 
that's what I mean. It, it's not very far fetched to believe that, that maybe these cows are the most intelligent beings on planet Earth, and uh, maybe our government got wise to that and started slowly taking them up. Maybe there's an underground war going on, the secret wars, if you will, uh, with cows right now. We may herd them, but maybe they're herding us. It's the lizard people versus the cows. Right, right. The, right. the I mean, we know the there's suit. clearly a lizard people that are wearing human suits, so the yeah. cows are starting to push, push exactly. back, and uh, we're starting to see more and more of that. There was a, there was a big uprising in the '70s, right? Because you know mutilations were pretty high in the '70s, but we must have regained some ground here, and uh, the cows are coming. Well, I mean, maybe it has something to do with uh, you know the Indians for millennia have um, worshipped cows, right? So, and when and I say so Indians, like I mean a, India Indians, sorry. Oh, I, so I definitely the, thought you meant like American Indians. No. Like Native yes. Americans. No, no, Did they no, worship like, cows too? I think it, they worship something. Right? Yeah, I don't know, maybe. But eagles, birds, who knows. But India, about right. it, it's like they're sacred. Like you don't eat cow there. Right. Um, so who knows? You know, maybe the aliens came, met an Indian, made an Indian from India. And we're like, hey, this is our God. This is what we worship. And they're like, okay, well, we're going to go cut out their insides. Okay, Same. cool. We're going <laughs> to, yeah. Like, so, where's your God now? Where's your God now? On the, on, the re- on the real, we talk about, okay, so these cows are valued at around $6,000, right? So I'm like, well, okay, why is that important? Right? So in my mind, okay, so cool. Someone's like harvesting the, whatever they want out of them. They actually have like 10 times more value as a living being than they do as a as dead using their meat or their organs or whatever. So the idea that maybe some, you know, group or people are going out and harvesting these bulls to use their meat to, to make money off of them or whatever, it's an, it doesn't make a lot of sense. It really goes back to the idea that uh, so, for instance, a bull at this at this age and this this cost around six thousand dollars would produce about 20 calves a year. Right. You're talking for the next like five to six years. So you're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. When it, when it all breaks down based on how they, 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 they did the numbers over five, six years, a, a bull like this could produce hundreds of thousands of dollars in the next few years. And we're talking nine of, them, nine of them at a time dying and going through this. So it doesn't make sense that it would be for profit because it would make more sense to steal them and take them and use them to make that money or, you know, black market it. So it's kind of crazy if it is a government thing. And part of the reason that comes out, I, I, I was digging into what you said about, you know, Tucker Carlson saying that this points back to the U S government that actually started with a new Mexican state trooper who had been investigating these mutilations and concluded that this was the work of the U S government based on the fact that the FBI documentation around some of the investigations just said that it was a, a fox or a possum. And you're like, oh, what? what? <laughs> these things are <laughs> thousands of pound bull. These bulls are massive. I mean, looking at pictures yeah. of them, they're huge. I mean, absolutely just ginormous. And there's no way. An, a, a, I mean, I've never seen a fox or a possum that can tear a cow, you know, from from head to tail. Yeah, I mean, I don't know really how fierce a fox or a possum is, but the first thing I'm thinking of is a possum. Really? Right. Like, <laughs> just, so, you know, they start to question things like that. Like a possum and it smears on the ground. I mean, let's be real. It's like, how does the FBI, and I think the FBI worked with the U.S. Fish and Game, Wildlife Service, right, to, to do all this, but to blame small mammal, mammals such as foxes. So their, their argument is that it wasn't as much that they were being attacked by predators or scavengers, more or less that they had died unexplained. And in that unexplained death, they were cleaned out, like completely cleaned out by the scavengers. Um, that would be fine, except for scavengers generally clean everything out, not just the insides. And so it's kind of eerie just to to think about all that. But and the fact that there's just so many of them, like we either have some like really weird stuff going on. But so okay, uh, we have weird stuff going on. What would be the point of taking cows out and impacting? And really, it's impacting ranchers and those those people that are producing these. Uh, financially, like this is a huge financial hit so much so that they're willing for every cow, they're willing to give $25,000 reward money to an arrest for each cow. Um, and so the, you're talking big money. If we can identify who did this and get them arrested, assuming that it's a person. And so they, there's a huge financial hit to this. Who would gain from, from doing something like this and, and, and knocking these farmers or these ranchers out? 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I to the point of that you guys are making about the possibly the military using some kind of um, new biological weapon or something like that. I mean, maybe in that case, you know, you target cows because they're a much larger animal. Their organs are are much larger, and if you can do it to this larger being, well, then a human being will be quite simple, right? You don't need it. You but it wouldn't be biological and, because we don't share biological traits with them. Right. Well, biological I mean, meaning that it's attacking the biology of an animal. Okay. Right. Cause that's, okay. that's what a biological weapon does regardless of, of the traits of the, the, the creature. It's still, if it's dissolving innards, it's going to dissolve just about anything it comes in contact with. Right. I guess it could. Except so, bones. Except bones. So the bones were not affected at all. We're just, we're talking pure flesh organs. And we're liquefied. And blood. And blood yeah. Blood. I mean, they were <laughs> sucked dry of blood. And no blood. I say sucked. So. I don't know if it sucked, but they were drained of blood. Have we thought of vampires yet? Do we think vampires but, may come into this equation, perhaps? Maybe, but there's no talk <laughs> of marks. Nothing. That's what. No, that's no. what the argument saying is: is that there are no teeth or bite marks, saying that this clearly points to an animal or something with teeth that would like a vampire, right? Right. Well, so the, the vampire it seems surgical. The vampires could. Um, uh, have you seen Transylvania, Hotel Transylvania? Yes. Right. So, do you remember in Hotel Transylvania where uh, they that he can use telekinetic powers? Yes. Okay. So my 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 theory here is, and this is a work in progress, um, is perhaps they lured the cow away from the herd, so as you know the screams were not heard, and he <laughs> used his telekinetic powers to rip all the organs out of the mouth. So that all the organs would come out one direction. They would come out of the mouth. And then there he can either take the organs to store them later or he can eat the organs there with the blood and everything. And um, and then left the, you know, the skin, the bones. He doesn't really need all that. He just needed the organs and the blood, right, for uh, maybe he's preparing for a harsh winter. Uh, we, we don't really know. So that's my thought. <laughs> so the vampire is going into hibernation and he's, he's stocking up on organs. Right. It could be very possible. Yep. So so in that case, I mean, the myth of the vampire needing fresh blood is unnecessary at this point. Maybe. No, well, I maybe they can keep it fresh with refrigerators nowadays because, you know, back when, you know, that law was written or that like rule of vampires was written is probably a long time ago. I think <laughs> refrigeration has really helped with that. They probably hey, can. Modern vampires probably got bags of blood. I'm, I'm yeah. sure. Maybe, uh, you know, but maybe they don't want um, uh, vaccinated blood because uh they're like you know i I don't want autism so they're like uh (laughs) they're trying to stay away from that that's another we should talk about that one day uh vaccines and autism uh that's another theory we can touch on later on i'll I'll write you're just talking general vaccinations you're not talking covid both both of them well both well i think that's one and the same but Yes, that that theory and the ideology behind that was there way prior to and they, COVID. And, and we, vampires we know probably get people. a lot more blood out of cows, right? I mean, it's it's got to be a whole lot more. I'm assuming. Oh yeah, oh, loads yeah. of blood, loads, just truckloads. Like feed a whole family of vampires off one cow. Yeah, yeah. Wow, we're a good dad vampire looking out for his family. <laughs> looking out for his family. <laughs> We shouldn't go down the vampire hole too much. We yeah, uh, we do intend to have some fun in October. Yes. with uh, all of our our, our monsterly so topics. I want to read right. this, uh, and I guess it's I guess it's Alabama Fife, F Y F F E Fife, Alabama. Uh, there was an incident. Yeah, Fief. It's Fife. Fife. Yeah. My apologies. Yeah. No, no apologies, Fief. Sorry, guys. Yep. Uh, so South Alabama, uh, the radio host mentions an, an incident that takes place and it says, and, and, you know, excuse my vulgar uh, words here, but I'm just reading it as it is. Um, substances, it says that the strange occurrence and substances located on a victimized cow's whole uh, cow's genitals and rectum had been carved out in a neat incision. They said that the police officer stated that it, there were three different elements that were found. One of them was titanium, uh, of course, being the most prolific element that was found. He said that he described it as a white flaky substance. Um, col- when he collected the substance. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And a what substance? A flaky white substance. Oh, okay. All right. Never mind. Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> he, uh, when he was collecting it with the ballpoint pen. 
Uh, you know, you see police officers do that and detectives. Um, when he touched it, it it dissolved into a like liquid state. Mm. Yes. Um, he stated that a molecular bi- biologist who studied the substance advised that the compound of elements was not something that could have been found in nature. Hmm. So we're so, talking like uranium. Well, I don't know, but <laughs> they. <laughs> they <laughs> talking uh, uranium. Again. Literally, it goes from now we've gone from cows to uranium. Okay, not, but because he's saying, because he's saying, never mind. Yeah, that was his pun. Yeah. So, it, but have we talked? Hit. But have we? Uh, but have we ruled out the chupacabra? Hmm. The chupacabra, El chupacabra? No, mm-hmm. I mean, no, sure, but is is El chupacabra? Is he over here? I mean, I, I guess I, mean, I don't think he knows no borders. Yeah, but doesn't he's probably more like a werewolf, right? He just like eats. Doesn't it's not like he's precise in his incisions and leaving behind compound elements. Maybe the chupacabra has uh, evolved, right? And so we're seeing a stage of evolution where the chupacabra doesn't need to use these caveman like you know claws to rip through the flesh. He just simply needs to give the kiss of death to the cow, where he sucks all of the um, of the innards out from the mouth into his own, um, you know, stomach passage. I mean, to, uh, listen, this is straight from Wikipedia, which is a reliable source. The chupacabra <laughs> is said to attack and drink the blood of livestock, including that's cows okay. and goats. Right. Okay. So, that's all, that's so that and on to, folklore, he started, a... it, started in Puerto Rico. However, he is known throughout the Americas. Ooh. Yep. Yep. Mm. Mm. So he's up here in America doing his thing. And, and 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 there's the idea that it's not just one, that it could be a essentially a race. So chupacabras, right? That there are more than one of them, not yep. just one. Yep. Um more known mon- nor, known more as the goat sucking monster. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, listen, maybe they got tired of eating small. They were they didn't want a meal prep anymore and they wanted to go and, you know, <laughs> they a little bit. They 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 work smarter, not harder. Right. I mean, now they have so much. cows are slower, you know, no, we now got they have this. a taste for the bovine flesh and <laughs> that's all that they want. <laughs> yeah. What, so what about, now what they're about creating cold? adaptations to, uh, adaptations. you know, to, to, to make, make good, make do on that, uh, all the cows kind of like, uh, have you guys seen the other guys? Yes. Remember no. when he's talking to him and he, what? The other guys, which one's that? The movie, the, the movie, With Will Ferrell. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Death pop. Yeah, right. The oh, same. Okay. Yeah, the very yes. same. Remember when he's telling him he's like, he's like, um, he's like, I, if I were, if I were, a li- <laughs> he's like, I would, I would lie to you or a tuna, I'd eat you. <laughs> Remember that? Yeah. Right? Yes. And then Will Ferrell goes off on him and he's like, okay, first of all, uh, <laughs> a lion eating a tuna going up against, uh, you know, a bunch of tuna in the ocean. Uh, you lose that battle. You lose that battle. Four pound fish. Yeah. 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 First off, why are you ain't, why aren't you near land? Why yeah. are you way out here in the ocean? I'm assuming you're off the Southeast coast of, uh, of Africa. <laughs> no. Um, but do you remember how the tuna in that scenario, um, were able to evolve and adapt, um, to their, um, to eat the lion? Like, you know, we've had lion, we've tasted lion when we want more. So they develop breathing apparatuses to be able to right. uh, go after the lions and hunt the lions. So maybe not for long, but maybe it, yeah. So they were just literally evolving to hunt lion. So, so you're saying that the chupacabra now a pos- now a plausibility in this as well because he's he, he or she or it they has evolved. come on they, guys they, get come on the, the packs. <laughs> Um, yes, they've evolved to be able to hunt uh, more effectively against um, cows and cattle and such. So, oh, my it, goodness, it, it is important to note uh, because a lot of people have said that you know extracting the organs maybe there's some there's some value to it, and multiple professionals and law enforcement agents um, have gone on record to state that there is actually no commercial value whatsoever to the organs you know the cow being the body of the cow being holding the highest value which right. is of course the thing that's left behind right the actual right, meat right. of the that's animal the point i was trying to make there. on 
when I was talking was like, if this isn't like a, okay, so maybe with the exception of say like reproductive organs, I know that that was one of the things that's missing. So we're talking about cows that are more valuable with reproduction than not. So maybe that's the, that's the point they're trying to recreate these things. So be it. I mean, what, okay. We haven't really ruled out cults like a, a ritualistic thing. Right. So there was even talks when we were talking about like, um, Israel and, and, and Egypt where they're looking for like perfect bread, you know, red bulls or like different types yeah. of cows that are just, they're, they're perfect in every the, way. The red heifers they or whatever all, they're called. Yeah. The red, like yeah. what, what if, you know, the idea is, okay, these things are as close to perfect specimens as possible. Um, and when there's a cult, usually a cultish thing, they're looking for clean animals or whatever. There's some kind of measuring stick when it comes to that kind of thing and sacrifices. Uh, I wouldn't say this is a true sacrificial thing because it's happening kind of just out in the land and left. They're not taking them somewhere else and sacrificing them. But with the exception of everything being gone, on some of these instances, you're seeing certain things like eyes being removed, um, the reproductive organs being removed, uh, surgically again, right? Not bitten or anything like that, but like surgically removed. Have we thought about, you know, uh, Colts? I mean, it's Oregon. That's one of the places that I saw. I can't speak for Colorado, but, you know, Oregon, you got some, some mountains. Colts in Oregon? And, hey, man. Maybe. <laughs> no, the point is, is it's mountain, mountain range. We know in Northern yeah. California there was stuff. It's possible that there's stuff in Oregon. Can we rule out just the fact that there, there's not some group of, of people out there that are going out and mutilating cows for altered, you know, for their for sacrificial gains? I think I think that we can because I, I think that the stuff was done. Uh, it looked inhuman. It is. A th it can't really be another human who's doing these things, right? Um, unless it unless they have some sort of advanced technology, like the government would have access to in creating these elixirs and potions and such with uh, things not found in nature. <laughs> but if it's just some homies with some knives looking to cut off peepees, I don't know if we. I don't know if. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm on that on that ship. I, I, I don't. I don't know if I can go sign on that. That seems a little too far fetched for me. There's our prelude right there. If it's just some homies with some knives cutting off peepees. Well, here we are, folks. Um, I, I, I still think maybe Andy's onto something. I mean, I, I, there's a couple things. One is, have you seen them cults where the people are like mentally truly believe that they are animals, right? Where there's like a group of these people and they're all convinced that they are wolves. I think right? you're referring to furries. Go ahead. Oh, stop <laughs> stop that's no 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 let's go no. there what is a furry do, listen don't you google don't know what it. a furry is don't google no. it oh my don't. friend <laughs> i i, I do no. believe what you are referring to is in fact a furry <laughs> i apologize to anyone that listens to this and decides to go know. what's a I furry gotta i gotta know no no you it, should you... absolutely look that up <sighs> without a shadow of a doubt google uh, yeah, I'll Google with you. Don't. Let's see what, let's don't see what Google, pops up. Don't TikTok it. It's even worse. TikTok. It's just free it's art. Stopped. Free. Ugh. Let's. What? What is? I'm gonna just ask Google. What is a furry? That's terrible. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, let's. See. Are you? Are, did you find it? Are you looking oh, it up? Uh, oh wow! Furry random furry is a subculture interested hey. in anthropomorphic animal characters. Example of anthropomorphic attribute including to exhibiting human intelligence and facial expressions, being walking on two legs. Oh, so they dress up like animals. Yep, like full blown costume. <laughs> yeah, yep. and they cosplay as animals all the time. Oh, there's a WebMD on it. <laughs> yeah. Stop. Oh yeah. Stop. Oh yeah, dude. This is a serious <laughs> epidemic. This is people a have an dark <laughs> hole that we do not need to go down. <laughs> These people have mental conditions <laughs> they're not people that's the point yeah what well, they they have they don't identify they as don't people. Assign, they don't identify mm. as people they quite literally identify as aminals <laughs> <laughs> oh man this is oh my gosh there's some stuff you definitely don't want to walk down i'm no. glad that you're reading all this stuff for the first time i can't believe there's a whole webmd on it <laughs> <sighs> this, <laughs> i'm so i'm so distraught okay. right now okay so Let's use this for a second. Hold on. Hold on. This goes with your thing, though, uh, Andy. So cults, you take a cult. And if you take a cult of these, quote unquote, furry people, uh, maybe just maybe they're out there. And maybe one of them just happens to also by day be a surgeon. 
And he's out there cutting into organs and they're sitting around a campfire eating the organs of these animals and drinking the blood. Is it possible? Yes. As Cody would say, it is plausible. It's plausible. Yep. And that's all we're really looking for. You know, it's all we're here to do. I feel like, I think we've found our motto. Is it plausible? Twisted yes. world. It's plausible. Yeah. Well, because yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, that's what we do, right? Conspiracy theories, yeah, mysteries, myths, legends. It's, it's, is, is any of what can connect to this particular mystery, myth, or legend, or conspiracy theory, for that matter, plausible? And that's where we're at, right? So mm. we, have, um, um, we have potentially aliens, right? So this has been going on for a long time. I mean, I've seen, Andy, what did you say? 10,000 mutilations in one area? Yeah, so I don't know if that's like over a year of just historically. So I guess there have been like centuries of mutilations reported um i guess the high mark up until recent days was 19 in the 1970s there was a lot of them and then it kind of got you know squashed there wasn't really a lot going on and then it comes back around to now we're getting into the 2021 2022 era where we're starting to see a lot more of them now and so from what i can read right now you got new mexico you got oregon you got colorado where you're having almost identical signs from these 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 bulls being mutilated, these cows. So it's it, it's happening quite a bit more now. I think people push it away because I think the instant go to is oh this has got to be some nefarious thing like a like a it, well, generally we don't think people. I know that, that that's an easy thing to say. Oh, it's probably just some some bad guys out there. Most of the time when you hear somebody talk about cow mutilations, you instantly think aliens. Like I'm sorry. Every time I've ever thought about this type of thing, it's like, ah, it's aliens. And then you kind of people poo poo it away because of the idea that, well, aliens aren't real. And so this is, it's just, it's make believe. They're not really being mutilated. And we just kind of discount it away. Uh, the problem is, is it's happening more and more often again and it's starting to ramp up again. So, yeah, I don't know. Is it, is it aliens or is it people? Does it make more sense that it's I people? Uh, well, I don't know. Back to your incident that you brought up in, I guess it's Eastern Oregon. I guess yeah. that's where there was five five bulls mutilated and they talk about the, the blood being drawn and are removed, excuse me, and reproductive organs as well. Um, according to this, the marshal on scene that there was zero forensic evidence of any kind. So not only are they getting in, taking the blood, taking the organs, they're not leaving any forensic evidence. So no footprints, no, no, you know, nothing, no fibers, nothing left behind at all. Now is that, impossible for somebody who's highly professional to do no absolutely not but you're not just as i as bad as it sounds slaughtering a human being you're slaughtering a, a five thousand or two thousand pound or however much these things weigh bull and you're slaughtering five of them right leaving no traces so you you've left nothing behind to show that you snuck into this field and did this right so um i don't know that's i i, I want to go back to the to cody's first theory about sure. the government, right? Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. So what is your thoughts on how are they administering this? Like, how are they getting this in? It's dissolving the organs of the bulls. Um, what, in, in which way are they, they using this weapon? Do you think? Which, where's your thoughts? Oh, you on mean that? like what? What are like, what could be like the uh, real world applications? Yeah, of, of this serum. I, if they, I, if they so do, so we can visualize it, right? So we can figure out like how is it are that they're doing this? Sure, sure. I mean, um, it could be used. Uh, they're probably maybe developing more uh, untraceable, um, you know, um, uh, poisons that can be used in espionage and things of that nature. As you know, we have a lot of um, espionage going on nowadays. We're all spying on each other, doing that sort of thing. Um, so if we have, you know, agents out in the field and maybe they need to, you know, take out a threat um, or neutralize a threat, um, uh, with uh, with poison, untraceable poison that sort of just melts your insides with people befuddled um, and uh, showing that really no human could have done this. So, I mean, it can't really point back to any sort of human. Uh, I think that's a great tool to have. And maybe that's what our government is uh, experimenting with. Um, could be could be that could be one of the uses. Right. Um, it could uh, maybe they're just testing a new, um, you know, some new uh, medical cream that they don't want to have uh, documented. Maybe, they, maybe this is just Johnson and Johnson getting their, getting their testing done. You right. know, like, ah, we got to get validated again. Right. Yeah. And lost oh. that vaccination money. 
yeah, I wonder if this ointment will work. And they're like, oh, no, it just evaporated the cow's insides. Probably can't sell that. So that could be it, you know? Could just be Johnson & Johnson. Um, Failed experiments. That's great. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean... I mean, it would be a gnarly way to test biological warfare. Like, I'm just throwing that out there. But, again... How do you, I mean, and I'm no scientist, but how could they target just internal stuff and not external? Like, yeah. you would yeah. assume no, that there would be I'm some saying. burn like, marks or something, something on the outside. These cows look, I mean, of course they look like they've been rotting, but the, the cows look perfectly fine on the outside. For the most part, there are some time, some photos where, you know, it looks like the, the lips were taken off. And so you could see their jaw or their ears were removed or, hooves. The, you know, those were one offs. But like the ones that I'm we're referring to that are kind of happened in like five or six at a time, they're all very, very surgical. And it looks like they're just sucked yeah. dry. Just just right. Yeah. But their, well, one, their skin's one, fine. There's no incisions for the most part. One, um, I guess, pathologist stated like no traces of blood. So we're so if you were to be drained of your blood, right? If somebody were to hook you up to like a dialysis mach- dialysis machine with with one way, you know, instead of it filtering, just one way and completely drained you, you would still have traces of blood left in your system, right? Um, it's just it's like the empty milk carton, right? You, you got the empty milk carton on your in your refrigerator if you're the kind of person that does that and you're still gonna have a little bit of milk on the, on the walls of the carton, right? Some, some residue, some traces. One pathologist, according to this report uh, that I was reading, um, stated that there were no traces of blood within the system after, you know, when they cut into it to see what the heck happened to it. Right. That's so nuts. we're talking completely gone. Yeah. So I think Chupacabra, I'm, I'm, I mean, that's, that's where I'm leaning. Cause the more we talk about this and the more, listen, I'm, all, I'm on board a little bit more with a Chupacabra over something like a vampire, even though it's kind of one of the same thing, but it's not really, but Chupacabra's I'm just saying like a werewolf though more, right? Well, but, but it sucks blood like a vampire. So I would call it more of like a, you know, I don't know. It's not really, uh, okay. Is it's it, beast like. I don't know if I'd call it a it, werewolf. Are, chup- are chupacabras just animals or are they like humans like that shape shift into animals? Like what are they? That I, I don't I, know. I, I, know I think it's the animal form. I've always just seen them more. I mean, I guess in the form, I've always seen them like a werewolf man type thing. Uh, I don't know that they are people that turn into them. That's they are uh, like a lichen. They yeah. were okay. at one point they were furries. And then they just got so into it. They got so into it that they were like, you know what? No, I need, I need animal flesh to satisfy my hunger. And then they, they slowly devolved into what we know as the El Chupacabra. So, oh, I'm sorry. I'm reading it right now. Okay. The most oh common description of a Chupacabra is a rept, a reptile like creature. They're lizard oh. people. Oh, there it they is. They are lizard people. They are greenish oh, gray bro. skin with sharp spikes and quills that run down their back. They're approximately three to four feet tall. That's not very tall. And stand well, and hop well, ET uh, was in a very too. similar f- uh, fashion to a kangaroo. First okay, off, so this is insane how detailed this is. Another common description of a chupacabra is, is a strange breed of wild dog. Yeah, of course. So this, so is a, this is so research. Just, they're just ex Facebook employees, right? Ex Facebook employees. <laughs> that, that, uh, right, right. That went right. furry. Absolutely. That went, yeah. Yeah. I would just like to point out the one in, po- in popular culture. This was used in Magic the Gathering uh, in the set called Rivals of is it Zyland? Oh, there you go. Get that card. Introduce, bro. introduce a card named Ravenous Chupacabra in 2018. Ravenous so, Chupacabra. Nice. Yes, I had to throw in a magic so, reference there. It was so also in X Files. It was in X Files. It was. Hey, it was called I, I I El, Mu- El Mundo Gira. What, it's an episode it, of 1997 that features the Chupacabra. Because I think uh, Hulu's got all those. I should go back and look at that one. Because I'm really. I, hey, now I, that I've, I'm like I've, a full blown adult, I should go back and watch X Files. I watched it when I was a kid, on and off. Probably yeah. shouldn't have, but uh, you know, I'm sure I missed some context there. So your your ranchers in Oregon, as you had said, are putting up a twenty five thousand dollar reward. So yep. if anybody knows the whereabouts of El and it Chupacabra, leads to an arrest, if it leads to an arrest, which so they believe it to be a, a person, which is fine. That's their prerogative. It's silly, but it's fine. Yeah, <laughs> it's their prerogative. Uh, maybe I mean, that's why they're offering up so much money is because they know it's not going to be found. Um, right. 
because they maybe, know it's a chupacabra. Maybe the they alien. maybe they continue to raise these purebred bulls that are worth six thousand dollars with the potential of hundreds of thousands of dollars because it's the only thing they know they can feed their chupacabra. And mm-hmm. that, that's really what their breeders for is they're breeding the chupacabras. But in order so maybe, to do that, they need they need purebred, like highly, you know, reproductive bull, you know, like, blood and the, intestines in order to get their chupacabra to breed. Well, you just drink Red Bull, bro. Okay. <laughs> the, what's the, the uh, uh, wings. one of the ingredients in Red Bull supposedly is uh, intestines. No, nah, it's supposed to be bull, like testosterone secretion or something like that. Is that is that real? I don't know. That's it. Just well, we're a conspiracy mystery. Next podcast, episode. So. Does Red Energy Bull drinks. contain <laughs> bull excrement? <laughs> no, does it give you wings? I mean, I don't know if it gives you wings, but it, you know, I remember the first one I ever drank. It got me hyped up. So who knows? Maybe that's the thing. Um. So the one that we were ready, reading about the Oregon one was back in two, 2019. However, since then, and in court in including up to a little over a month ago, there's been eight other reported cases in that same, I guess it's Sylvie's Valley ranch. Yeah. And then there's another reported in earlier this earlier this year in Colorado, a very similar scenario. Uh, I didn't get a lot of the details on there, but it said Colorado and they named like a ranch or an area. Uh, unfortunately I've, I've clicked off that page because we moved on to furries and, well, I, back to the furries. So no, uh, yes. no, we do not need to go back to the furries. Hold on, but I got. I, I have a theory. Okay, let's just say these people they they dress up in these costumes as these furries, and it's a cult, right? right. And hypothetically, that the chupacabra is real. Like right. maybe that's how they worship the chupacabra. Right? Is they dress up in this thing and then they whoa, feed whoa. it. You are theory crafting right now. You are taking three I'm, different theories, and you I'm are like saying. saying, "Hey guys, what about?" Furry cults that yes. worship aliens a- and, and are also vampires and, and, and so, Hispanic but, but, vampire creatures. Yes. Yes. Is there some yes. truth to yes. that? Yes. Like Let's, go. That? Let's go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we talked about the queen last week and somehow got on Hitler and cyborgs. Isn't that what this show is all about? <laughs> yes. But look, yeah. now, but I mean, but now we're we're theorizing the the compilation of a multitude of different possible mysteries here. Mm. That is maybe it possible they, that a chupacabra is an alien? Yes. Well, yeah, one of your Absolutely. descriptions straight up said, what did it say? It's a uh, reptilian it rep- of some reptilian. sort, right? Reptilian and, with, with grayish green skin, which, come on. Gr- grayish green skin. Let's go. Um, and it had scales going down its back. Absolutely. Right. And multitude of alien sightings over the many decades have a lot of them, you know, they, they describe a reptilian type creature. Right? There's, there's the image that was depicted by the first sighting. The first sighting of the, of the chupacabra. chupacabra. Oh, yes. he, I, he looks like an alien to me. The big beady eyes, got a little bit of fang, got the tongue going. He's right. he's definitely definitely a lizard person. Um, kind of looks like Swamp Thing, right? Yeah, a little bit. Well, and 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 if if there are any if there's let's say a slightly advanced race of some sort, they've clearly got here. Um, and you got these people that have come into contact with it, and it lights a little bit of worship. So they dress up and furry costumes and worship it. Just saying. Furry costumes. Nice. It's disgusting. Yeah. And they have a complex called furryism. <laughs> by WebMD. Nice. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we have aliens, possible government, uh, poisons or, or weaponry or something. They're doing something, right? Uh, still crazy that and no matter what the mystery or le- legend is behind this stuff, the crazy part is it's really happening. Like these aren't made up stories. Like, right. Some Despite- of these ranchers went on Fox News talking about how like they're upset. They're not even going off about aliens or anything. They're just upset because as Andy put it, one of these cows is worth in the upright of $6,000 or more. Right. Yep. Not to mention reproductive money and all this other stuff. So we're talking a lot of money. These dudes are out and they're all kinds of upset and, and it's real. Like these guys are raising these cows, these, these bulls and somebody's doing something to them and, and something very funky and weird. Yeah. It's a cow farm. We're going to have cows outside. 
<laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> I mean, you don't bring them inside, do you? You guys ever seen Back at the Barnyard? No. What? What is Back at the Barnyard? Barnyard, the movie starring Kevin James as Otis, the cow. Oh, you remember the cartoon? Yes, I believe it was animated. This is where he stands up on his hind legs. He's like looking in the window at the house. Yes. Yeah. And and Harold, there was a cow outside. (laughs) So uh, I'm uh, sorry. I'm sorry. We can. I can drop a reference from like Kevin Costner in one of the best baseball movies of all time, (laughs) and you don't pick that up. But Otis (laughs) the cow. (laughs) Whatever farm movie you're talking about, you're shocked that I don't know the answer to that one. I mean, Kevin James is a, a magnificent actor. So. I'm That's shocked why. you know who he is. Kevin James is... Have you seen Mall Cop? I mean, Masterpiece. Like, should have won so many more awards. From <laughs> like Paul, Paul Blart? <laughs> yeah, Paul Blart Mall Cop. Yeah, Aaron was that for Halloween twice. I was, twice. Nice, dude. It's a, it's yeah. a fantastic I pulled, movie. I pulled it off a little too well. Yeah. A little too well. No, yeah. for sure. Um, so, I, this last... I, I was briefly watching... Um, this guy going on about so you know beef prices have gone up, right? right. Yeah, say the last they're getting drained, inflation, so there's not right? many of them, right? So that's what this farmer, <laughs> this farmer he goes on this tangent about how these cow mutilations are causing beef prices to go up. Stop it! Stop it right now! Okay, come on, like where this is that's a little extreme, but he did it on Fox News, adamant that, that this is with the thousands of cases happening. Um, I mean, it's it is a set it. it it, whether he likes it or not, it is contributing to it, right? Well, listen, you and, take out the high-end breeders, it contributes to a population control, right? So you're definitely having a population control. And then if the numbers are indeed from the 1970s to now, tens of thousands of these pro- high-producing bulls, yeah. I mean, you're talking millions of cows, essentially, that have been removed from the market over they, you know, two, three Sorry. decades. So maybe? Well, because I just saw the thing that one cow produces what 20 a year 20 a year yep. one bull produces 20 a year right one yep wow nice so and keep in mind if he produces a bull another bull that bull can oftentimes produce 20 more well ladies yeah. and gentlemen especially here in the state of texas you know when, when your cow prices are going up that's another thing how come i'm looking at all these areas that these happened in i don't see I mean, I, there's like lists like Colorado, like you said, Oregon, Alabama. I don't see any in Texas. And Texas has a lot of cows. Because we have guns. Is that what it is? The chupacabra yeah. and, the, and the furries are scared of Texas? I but dare no, someone to touch my cow. It's because our cows over here, they got horns that <laughs> stretch for a mile and a half. <laughs> so <laughs> any chupacabra sees those long horns, they're like, nope, nope, no, nope, good. nope. I'm good. I'm dipping. I'm going to go get his dairy cow over here. <laughs> for real. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they don't want to mess with uh, no longhorns. No, they don't, dude. <laughs> like they don't want the smoke. <laughs> they don't want the smoke. So, uh, before we wrap up, I mean, I, I think we have a lot of theories here, a lot of solid ones. I mean, I listen. Weird stuff's going on out here with these bulls and cows. So, who knows what it is? Um, but I, I'm going to go watch this video on furries and get a little more in depth and on the background. <laughs> what of these website weirdos. are you going to watch that on? Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. I'm not watching that stuff, bro. That stuff. I I didn't even see that until I was scrolling down and I was like, nope. Mm-mm, no. That's a whole nother world. So I'm sure our, our listeners can imagine what we're talking about. So anyway, um, final thoughts, anybody? What's killing? Uh, what's what, what's your what's your strongest belief? Um, it's definitely Biden. Biden <laughs> is killing all these cows. It's the Biden administration. It's to test the Johnson and Johnson liquid cream to help moisturize your skin. That's what that's what this all has been about. OK, but, they're testing. Why, why go on to these poor ranchers farms and just do it there when you've got you could get anything you want to what test it on? Why would you, why do you have to Because just, if, okay, if the government had to purchase the cows, there would be, there would be like documentation of that. You can't have that. You got to just send out these agents under the table. You know what I mean? No cameras <laughs> out in the middle of nowhere. You can't so, have documentation like that. There'd be an uproar. Got it. Hey, 
Uh, you know what? There's plausibility. We're there. Yeah, I got you. Well, and I mean, okay. Well, let's assume it's more population control, controlling the food. Supply chains are breaking down again, right? We've heard more about off coast stuff. We've heard about railroad stuff. Hey, Cody, maybe not be far off. You may I mean, not. It, it, it's it's super it's nefarious, very deep. And if we're gonna go very. the human lines, right? Besides chupacabras and aliens plausibility in the in the world of reality it, it's a person so they're either doing it for some reason it doesn't mean it doesn't make sense that it's for profit right because it would mean it would make more sense to steal them than to kill them um it, it could be it could be related to we want to thin out like it just doesn't make sense i don't know where that what the end game is and maybe i can't think that far out but it's uh maybe maybe there's something to it the yeah. government is involved somehow with controlling the population of the beef and driving the prices up for, for what, who knows what to make them more reliant upon the government and their programs for food. And we're going to, we're going to start ha- rationing guys. That's what's going to end up happening. You're gonna be like, ah, beef is so expensive and there's so few of it because of all the mutilations. Uh, you get one pound of ground beef a week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, it's plausible. Very. And in fact, it's probably the most plausible theory, to be honest. But uh, I'm, I'm going with just because everybody knows I love aliens. But I love the twist now that the chupacabra, El Chupacabra, the Hispanic goat beast, is actually a reptilian alien. And I'm thinking mm. he's just hungry. You know, and aliens have precision. Hungry. So they have technology. He was a Facebook employee that got the taste of cow blood. Yeah. And, and he's now. And he's in the furry cult. Right. Yeah. Mm. I feel exactly. it. Exactly. hundred percent podcast. Well, also, <laughs> it's off the rails. Also, it's not Biden who's doing it. It's <laughs> Trump's doing it because Trump's president. <laughs> Just want to put that out there. That's good. You got that in for the, and he's blaming for the it on Biden. Room. He's blaming it on Biden. Right? Yes. He's, it's Unless of course framing that him. it turns out that, uh, the serum works and it's a success. Then he's not blaming Biden. And then it was all us the entire time. It was all Trump. The whole time. <laughs> was it a success? Yes, it's Trump. Was it not? It's Biden. That's crazy. <laughs> Anyways, cows are dying, getting their blood suck, organs are missing. Who knows what it is? Monsters, beasts, human beings. Is it President Biden? We don't know. I don't know. But as always, Twisted World fam, we love you. We're out. Peace out. Trump is president. 